All right, guys, welcome back to the channel wherein I'm showing you some of my heroes and a active play and some boss kills and such here. Um, this time we're doing the monk, dude, and this is huge. I love this, love this hero. He's so great. Uh, let's take a look at what I'm using here. First off, for the weapon, I might say I'm only using this just because of the role that I got for it. But there's also another big factor here with this one. The fused obsidian pole arm is very unique for it does splash damage. It also arcs in a very weird way. So the way that you, you use it is very different from the other pole arms for the monk. But <clears throat> for this, I got Sunder Armor and Ethereum Champion on it, which is phenomenal. So that's what I'm going to be using here in this video. I wouldn't constantly recommend this weapon for dps but it is what i'll be using here uh, we'll take a look at another good weapon for the monk right afterwards but uh, we've got a Therian champion on it so we're gonna match it with the whetstone for him i've also got a minor set for the fusion of strength drain uh, it got a very great rune for it so we'll be taking advantage of that so we've got the miner set. We've just uh, we've tried to prioritize range and power on his set. We've got our Arcanist as well. And for the accessories, we are trying to push for the stats as well. We're not usually trying to overflow the MPs and HPs and move speeds because the monk is pretty well balanced. So we've just got 9 MP on him for now. That allows us to keep our boosts active for as long as we need them to be active for. We've also got a propeller cap for the extra damage, of course. And uh, let's check out the runes really quickly. The Exploding Aura. This is fantastic. It is basically, it, it can replace the Electric Aura and it just adds Strength Drain, right? So it's a great rune, highly, highly recommend. And the Sluggish for the Ensnare, fantastic. It's just more strength drain, right? And then we got the Mystical Repair and Warrior for the abilities, dude. All right, that's it. Let's go smack up some bosses. Here we are. We made it to the Demon Lord. We're going to come on over here and drop a power buff bubble there on our traps and we're just gonna barrel stuff him with our weapon make sure all of our projectiles are hitting we're gonna go ahead and stun him nice and we've just got the sunder armor working him down dude this demon lord didn't stand a chance see you later dude <laughs> All right, on throne room, uh, we're just going to throw down our little buff guy here. We'll boost up, and we're just going to kind of sit back and snipe him from a distance. We'll arc our shots so that they're making it to him because this weapon is a little bit whack. But we're just going to kind of camp out right here, keep our defenses buffed up, give some sunder armor, and when the boss gets a little bit closer, then we'll move around, try and snipe him in the back. Here we go. And we'll just take some shots at the side. We do have a shrine on, so we are getting a little bit more damage from that. Let's go ahead and buff again. This is a little bit scary, bro. <laughs> Big damage. Come on, dude. Here, you turned around for us. Nice. There we go. We got him, man. That was awesome. It took a little bit longer than our Huntress did, no doubt, but I will take that, dude. GG. Alright, we're back here at the summit. We're going to fight the Ancient Dragon using our monk. Go see if we can knock him down here. Alright, we've got our Powering Shrine over there. 
we're gonna go over and throw a boost on these traps so you can see and get more damage and we're just gonna blast away aim a little bit higher so that all of our projectiles are hitting kind of barrel stuff them a little bit getting some pretty good damage you went in for a fire breathe dude that's amazing for us actually we get oh so much more damage here like about half of his life in one phase that's super good for us do mock over knock him down nice back in time for another tower boost right up in the middle again and barrel stuff him dude this dragon is done for we may have to cycle him again nope he's an idiot <laughs> I was wrong! Okay, he dies here. Alright, so let's see if he drops middle again. Nope. There it is, dude! All three bosses down with the monk. That was so easy. GG, bro. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Let's go check out our stats for the monk. Notice that my vitality is super duper low. We have like 300,000 health. Uh, so by all means, this is not like the ideal perfect DPS monk, right? This is a hybrid, and these are the stats that I have with the gear that I'm using. So, I mean... It's a little all over the place, but we've got a load of attack, dude, and we've got just the right amount of range. 13,000s, that's perfect. That's all you need. And, uh, yeah, dude. Well, um, let's grab our other monk. This is my electric aura monk. We've got a fusion guard set on him, along with a fused drake tooth from the summit with an aftershock roll in it. I don't usually use Aftershock with him because it doesn't seem to make an exaggerated effect as some other heroes would, like the Huntress, for example. So I usually just find a Sunder Armor roll for him. Um, these two weapons that I do have are currently my best for the Monk, but not best in slot for Monk. So I think that the if you're ideally, if you're looking for best in slot for him you want to go to the keep and get the cleaver from there oh and uh, really quick i almost forgot to show you stats for my my electric aura monk dude okay really quick we got power range on all of our armor we got a little bit of defense damage a bunch of power range a little bit of mp regen for the abilities and we've got lightning strikes rune for the aura sitting at Thirteen and a half thousand power, just under ten k in range, and that will do just nicely for your snare electric or a monk. Otherwise, that is it, man. That's my monk, and uh, hopefully this helped you out a little bit. But that's it, man. I uh, will catch y'all in the next one. See ya.